Hello guys, so on today's video I want to show you how you can check if the if you have a power, proper power, proper voltage coming out from the battery pack to your machine uh, or not. Uh, if you have a problem with machine not powering up, for example. So if you if you turn on the ignition and you don't have any power on your display, it doesn't matter what kind of display you have. It's if it's an older machine with a three three bulbs or if it's a newer machine with a six bulbs, uh, no power coming into the machine. So first of all, you have to check for basic stuff, which is the fuse condition. So your fuse look, locating on a uh, on on the main wire coming from the battery pack. Uh, so once you open this. Uh, cap just inspect the fuse if it's not blown um, maybe it's going to look okay from the outside maybe it's defective in internally who knows uh, but if you're replacing with a new fuse and your battery is okay and producing some power you're supposed to receive a confirmation sound uh, uh, once you install this fuse so you're going to have a sound from the alarm and you're going to have a little spark right here when you when you will be installing that's mean that power is getting okay so don't worry about that little spark that's normal let's see okay so now i have power it's giving me a confirmation sound little spark and i have power here but in some cases uh, you might have some sound that the power is getting to the machine as a confirmation but when you turn on the ignition you got no 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 lights uh, on the display so that will be the next uh, you know troubleshooting video that you can look at uh, that i have how to do the testing of your ignition switch maybe some of the moisture got inside so you can override that ignition and uh, replace it if needed but what to do if your fuse is okay and you don't get any sound when you install it or even when you uh, unplug in this plug and trying to plug it back it's supposed to give you same sound confirmation but you don't have it so what to do well you have to test if how many volts actually coming out from your main battery plug uh, so if your battery is fully charged or almost fully charged it's supposed to produce uh, give you output of at least 37 volts let's say that on the fully charged batteries is going to be 38 39 and uh, you will need a multimeter for that so you will put the uh, on a dc settings multimeter on a dc settings and test those two pins let's see like in my case i have 38 volts so my batteries are fully charged now if you don't have this 38 volts that's mean that your battery uh, have a low charge and needs to be recharged maybe you have a problem with the charger uh, why it was not uh, charging before maybe uh, it's been sitting for a long period of time like for example over the winter and you did not plug in your ATV once a month like supposed to be so you did not maintain the battery level charge um, then in this case if you have for example 15 volts instead of 38 uh, well you will have to remove the battery pack open it up and you're going to find three individual batteries inside so you will have to recharge them with the regular car charger if you have one at home 12 volt car charger so you will have to recharge each battery individually one at a time until all of them will be uh, fully charged because this original charger will not help you to recover from 15 volts it will help you from reco recover it from 25 uh, volts and up but before that it's not that powerful enough but that's only in the case if you have a lower voltage than 38 if you test in your batteries and you don't have any voltage coming out like uh, zero that's mean that one of the wires is loose like one of the main wires is loose inside of the battery pack maybe it's broken maybe this fuse holder is from outside look okay but it's not passing power so you will have to test those wires for the continuity if they actually pass in power or not included all of, all of those wires that are inside of the battery pack because you're going to have three separate batteries 
and they are connected with each other with the little wires maybe you're going to find uh, the corrosion between uh, on those battery terminals maybe one of the wires are broken so you will have to reinstall them uh, and then you will have some voltage coming out from here uh, so that's how it is but otherwise this would be the confirmation when you have some voltage coming out you're supposed to have little spark either inside of this plug or in, inside uh, by this fuse and the machine will recognize the voltage and it will give you uh, sound okay thank you this is all for now bye